On January 28, 2024, the Iranian Samorg SLV was successfully launched. Built by the Iranian Ministry of Defense's Aerospace Industries, it successfully injected the Meda, Hatif-1, and Kian 2 inches nanosatellites into an elliptical orbit with a maximum altitude of 450 kilometers. This launch came shortly after the successful launch of the COM-100 SLV by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Aerospace Force. The Ministry of Defense and the IRGC have independent space programs, which have been met with criticism from the European countries and states, who believe that Iran is using its space program as a cover for developing intercontinental ballistic missiles. While the two recent launches have been hailed as successes by Iranian officials, France, the United Kingdom, and Germany issued a joint statement condemning the COM-100 launch, accusing Iran of violating United Nations Security Council resolutions. The Islamic Republic of Iran has been pursuing its space program with great seriousness for nearly two decades, a path that has been marked by ups and downs in some periods. Before the development of the Samorg SLV, all Iranian satellite launches were carried out using the Safir-1 launcher. Due to the weight limitations, which could only carry payloads of around 50 kg to 250 km orbit, the need for a more powerful SLV became evident. This led to the design of the Samorg launcher in the early 2000s. The first stage engine and a scale model of the launcher were unveiled on February 3, 2010. The Samorg is one of the most powerful SLVs ever built in Iran, with the ability to carry a 350 to 500 kg payload to low Earth orbit. The diameter of the Samorg SLV is 2.5 meters, which is about the width of a small car. It is 26 meters long, which is about the length of a football field. This makes it one of the largest satellite launchers ever built in Iran. The large size of the Samorg is necessary to carry heavier payloads into orbit. This rocket is a two-stage, liquid-fueled launcher, which has a launch weight of 87 tons. Its first stage engine is a cluster of four Safir-1 first stage engines, which are derived from the Shahab-3 missile engine. This cluster engine produces approximately 128 tons of thrust from the main engine section and approximately 15 tons of thrust from the total of four control compartments. The Samorg's total flight time to a 500 to 530 kilometers orbit is between 480 and 495 seconds. The first stage burns for about 102 seconds. Stage's separation takes place at an altitude of 90 kilometers and a velocity of 2,300 meters per second. The fairing shroud is ejected simultaneously to the second stage engine's ignition. The satellite is then accelerated to 7,400 meters per second and injected into its designated orbit. The development of the Samorg has been marked with difficulties and unreliability of certain subsystems due to the overcomplexity of its engines and turbopumps. Out of the system's first four launches, two orbital and two suborbital launches, there have been three failures, giving the rocket a reliability rating of 25%. There were, however, indications of progressive improvements to the design and reliability of the system with each successive launch, with the 2017 launch operating for 120 seconds before failure, the 2019 launch operating 450 seconds before failure, and the 2020 launch operating correctly for 475 seconds out of the 490 seconds of operation required for a successful mission, giving the missions a 25, 92, and 97% success rate respectively indicating a trend of increasing reliability in the design. The recent successful launch of the Samorg is a significant milestone for the Iranian space program, as it demonstrates Iran's growing technological capabilities. The launch also comes at a time of heightened tensions between Iran and the West, and could be seen as a sign of Iran's determination to continue its space program despite international criticism. The Samorg is the hope of Iran's space program for injecting operational satellites into LEO orbit satellites that can be operated for several years instead of a few months. The Samorg satellite launcher carried three satellites into orbit, Meta, Kian-2, and Hatef-1 nanosatellites. The Meta satellite is a lightweight satellite developed by the Iran Space Research Institute. Its main purpose is to test the accuracy of the Samorg satellite launcher in multiple injections of space cargo into low Earth orbit. It also evaluates the performance of new designs and the reliability of indigenous technologies in space. The Kian-2 nanosatellite is designed to prove the positioning technology of space-based systems. 
This technology can be used to determine the position of ground receivers locally and independently of Global Positioning Systems GPS. The development of such systems could be a significant advantage for Iran's military products, as it could allow them to replace GPS-based guidance systems with more advanced and reliable alternatives. And the HATEF-1 is a narrowband communication satellite. The successful launch of these satellites represents a significant milestone for Iran's space program. It demonstrates Iran's ability to develop and launch satellites with a variety of capabilities, including navigation, communication, and scientific research.